Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois for those of you who don't know me. If it's your first time here then warm warm welcome to you. And for my returning subscribers, my G's, my day ones, thank you for coming back and spending some time with your girl to see what I've got in store for you today. Now guys, today, 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 I've got a B&M haul for you. But before I get into all that, if you like this kind of thing, such as hauls, a little bit of fashion, interior design, home decor, inspiration ideas, and I'm your girl, yeah. So guys, before we get into all of that, don't forget to click and subscribe, put your notifications button, and then you'll be able to see all my videos that I upload. Yeah. So before we get into the haul of today, let's see the candle of the day. Now, guys, I know this is my first candle of the day for 2022, but um, yeah, I forgot. Sorry, I forgot to do them on the other ones and I just wasn't prepared. Like after my little break and getting back into it, it's long. So your girl had to think back today. I can't miss candle of the day because, um, yeah, you've told me. Lois, don't mess about. Where's candle of the day? So let's get into this. So this is called Ginger and White Pomelo. And this is from TU Sainsbury's now. Yeah, TU Sainsbury's, yeah. Now this one, what I love about this, it's like, um, you know, like you want to like have a refresh, a reset of the year, brand new smell. This is your candle. This is kind of like your boutique sort of smell, boutique style, very nice, very fresh and absolutely gorgeous. Let me bring it closer for you. Yeah, and that's a, it's a, it's a two stem candle and um, this is my first time burning it. So I can't really say how it pulls, but it seems to be pulling quite well. But um, it smells gorgeous. That's my candle of the day. Right, guys, let's get into this now. I don't know about you, but Christmas is over. Yep, we know that's we've moved on from there. And then you start getting to packing things away and you're, you sort of want to declutter your house. You want to um, try to minimalize everything that's been around because, you know, with Christmas, you've got everything out. So I really enjoyed all that. But I also enjoy putting back some of my decor, although I do miss Christmas, not gonna lie. But no, let's, let's not go on about that. So <laughs> the thing is, I know I need to actually start putting things away. And this is the time of year when I really start to think about storage. Now, I never can have enough storage. So it's either I've got enough storage or I need to declutter. So I'm doing a bit of both this year. As you may see my video recently that I put out, things I'm not going to be doing. So not going to be over cluttering. But obviously, there's still things I'm going to purchase, guys. But at the same time, I, I need to know that the things that I've got have all got a home. So it's all about finding a home for it. So I popped into my B&Ms and had a little bit of a gander around there and sort of tried to look at some storage ideas. So I thought I'd show you guys some of the things I picked up in terms of storage. Now I've got storage for the kitchen, storage for like if you're de decluttering your, your home or if you're packing away your Christmas items, whatever it may be, or you want to reorganize the kid's room or your room or anywhere. There's a few items that you could actually probably um you know happy to see so let's get into it now let's start in the kitchen first with some kitchen storage now this bottle i am so glad if i bring it closer sorry about the light reflects on it but on the front it says powder and i saw this bottle a little while ago and those of you who follow Miss, Mrs. Hinch, you may have seen it on, on there. And this is all over Instagram. And guys, I've got an Instagram account. So if you want to follow me over there, you're more than welcome. So as I was saying before, I've seen these floating around. And I really love these sort of storage containers, especially for my salt powders and things like that. I like things uniformed. So when I saw these a little while ago, I was so chuffed. But the only thing, guys, those ones I saw were glass. Now, you know how your girl feels about glass. Cut, 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 cut. Yeah. Guys, if you've been with me for a little while, I've got a thing about breaking glass. I don't know. So when I saw these and I thought, oh, I had to leave it alone. You know, because what I've decided from sort of last year, I've been thinking about it. I'm not going to buy what I don't want. No, 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 that's not right. I'm not going to buy what I don't. 
I'm not going to throw away my things that are unnecessary. Yeah. So basically, I really wanted this, but I didn't want it in the glass. I thought, you know what, Lois? Don't buy what you don't, you're not happy with. That's what I'm trying to say. If I'm not happy with it, I'm not going to buy it for the sake of it because everybody else has got it. I'm going to buy it because I really want it or because I really need it. So I said to myself, I'm not buying the glass ones. I'm going on a bit in, I guess. Yeah, I know. But I said, I'm not going to buy the glass ones. But guys, guess what? This is plastic. Yeah! I was, look, when my daughter said, Mum, that thing you wanted, they got it in plastic in B&M. I said, you're kidding me. Guys, you know I had to go and have a look. Anyway, let me get in to tell you about the detail. Now, they had several in there. This one is £1.50, and it's a 500ml plastic bottle, and it's got powder on the front. So you can store any type of powder you want. There's salt powder, um, detergent powder, maybe dishwasher powder. Entirely up to you. I mean, most people use tablets, but, you know, you might still use powder. Or whatever you want to store in there, maybe powder for your killing your carpets, whatever it may be. But I love it. This has got the cork lid as well. So if you've got like brown aesthetics in your kitchen, this is really fitting. They had others as well, guys. So they had, um, let me see. They had this one, the softener. And again, that's plastic. And this one is one litre. And it's a laundry storage bottle. And it, on there it says softener. So you've got that one. They're already labelled, guys. So if you haven't got one of those machines that do your, that's all the labelling, with these, um, you can actually buy... The labels already on it. Let me put those down. That's what softener. I showed you softener. What have I showed you? Softener. Oh, that's never softener. Yeah, because I, I kind of have different flavors of softeners. I bought flavors, different scents. Oh my gosh! I kind of making a right pig's ear with this, isn't I? Yeah. So I have different scents. So um, I got a couple of softeners, and also this one is your detergent bottle. And again, that's a one liter bottle. And that is at 250 as well. So I was so chuffed, guys, when I saw these bottles. Um, these are great for storage. Get, get rid of all your bulky packaging and stuff like that. Um, recycle them. And then you've got your items stored in your storage. Storage bottles. So, yeah, let's put those down there. Um, also in the kitchen. I mean, this is not storage, but it's just something that I saw. Now, I saw these four microwave bowls, and what I like about these is that I'm tired of, you know, you've got those containers that you get from takeaway shops and whatever, and you might use them. They're not really actually good to use them in a the microwave, you know, to reheat food. So I said to myself, throw out all the crap. Throw it out, guys. You know, you use these takeaways. No, 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 stop it. Lois, stop it. Get proper microwave bowls, and these ones are great to do, like, your mashed potatoes. Because the other day, I was... I was Heating up some um, frozen mash, you know, from the microwave. And it totally bent my plastic bowl out of shape. I was like, what the heck? My bowl was no longer circle. It was some triangular kind of... Uh. No, you know how to get the bin. That's ugly. I don't want no ugly, bad-shaped, circular, bun-up things out of the microwave. So I said, Lois, invest in some microwave bowls. These are only uh, £3 for four microwave bowls. And it says, perfect for soups, pastas and noodles. All in one, heat and eat. Microwave safe, dishwasher safe, freezer safe. So that is absolutely ideal. Move from freezer straight to the microwave. Jobs are good. Un. So yeah, got four of those. Uh, moving on to storage. Also picked up, oh no, let's move on to this storage. <laughs> this storage is storage for my body. Water bottle. Yeah. Now I love this. When I saw it, I thought, wow like it says in the bottle wow yeah this is to help move my intake of water which i'm always trying to drink more water guys sometimes it's a mean feat but i'm gonna try but what i love about this this hydrate bottle um that this is um bpa free no not bpa free it's bpa hold on yeah bpa free bpa free hand wash only not suitable for dishwasher or microwave but then i, I wouldn't put it in there anyway would you but anyway, as I said, this is a hydrate bottle. And what I like about it, guys, if you look at the side here, it actually tells you, it says drink me. And it gives you the times that you should drink each amount. So you've got 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. So it's right through the day up to 6 o'clock. And then it says time for a refill. And you fill it all back up and you start all over again. Isn't that great? And that was £2.50. And that's your hydrate bottle. How much is it? Do you think it's about one litre? Do you think? Hmm. 
Mm, not sure, guys. But it's a pretty big bottle. I mean, look, look. Pretty good size, guys. So if, if I measure it like that, pretty good size. And that was £2.50. Right, moving across to storage. Now, I saw this three-pack storage tray. And what it is, basically, if I show you the picture of it there, and you make up the little storage trays to go in your drawers. Now, I've got bits of makeup, not makeup so much, but more nail varnish, things like that, that are all sort of rolling around all over the place. And I thought, I want to put them all together in a little bit of a storage pouch. Put them in the drawer. You know exactly where your like hardeners are, you know where your nail varnishes are. And you don't mix them up in your cuticle oils. And I wanted them all separate. So I've actually bought this three-pack storage tray. This was three pounds. And um, it's kind of like got a wood back in and you make them up yourselves and you put them inside your drawer. So that's the picture of it. Can you see? And that was three pounds. Now they had them in ordinary gray and they've got them with this gray and white stripe. I fancy the white stripe because I think it looks quite striking. Striking. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys. But anyway, but guys, I'm sorry about the light. The light's going in and out in this room, but yeah. It is what it is, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about the lighting. I'm still here with you, girl. You girl's still here with you. Yeah. So what else was I looking at in there? Ah, guys, I was also looking at these storage baskets. Now, those of you who saw my storage last year, you would have saw that I bought something similar to these in a smaller style. So when I came out with this version, I was well chuffed because it can match the ones that I had last year. What I'll do, I'll put a link um, down below for the one I bought last time and then you can see those type and see the matching ones they brought out this year to match them so this is your stacking lidded storage box and if i show you the picture of it that's actually how you can stack them you've got them in gray you've got it in black and you've got it in this kind of rose pink which is this is the rose pink that i've got here and what i like about it is it looks like that so if i put it like that and then you've got the lid that comes off. And then you've got the lid that goes on so you can actually stack it, which I really love this. So if you imagine if you stack like three or four up, how cute it would look. Yeah, here comes Tigger. Tigger, stay there. Where's she going? Stay there, missus. I don't know. But anyway, this costs £6 for that. Hello, excuse me, I'm filming. Hello. Yeah, I can hear your voices. I've got guys, I've got cats in and out of the room. I've got children on the stairs. What's going on? Anyway, let's ask again. So, <laughs> this is your shallow stacking lidded storage box with handles, and that was six pounds. And guys, they've got that size. So, if I showed you like that, and then that, that's how big they are. Let me see if it tells you about the litres that it could be. No, it doesn't tell you the litres. It just says it's 11 centimetres in height and 27 centimetres wide and 40 centimetres in length. So that's that version and you can stack. Now they have got another one. If I show you. And this is the bigger one. This is more like a box, a storage box. If I show it to you like that. And again, that's got the lid. And depending on how you want to do it, guys, you can stack these as high as you want. You know, and they're, they're very nice looking. And um, again, let me show you the picture on the side of it. So you actually can stack them in different um, styles. So you've got the large, the medium and the small. And those are the colours that it comes in as well. And this one was £8 for this one. Now, I really like this. What I want to actually do is stack this one. And then you can actually even stack the smaller one. So if you look at it like that, is that, can you see what I'm trying to get at? How I'm going to stack them like that. So I mainly want the, the smaller one for like all my hair equipment. So my tongs, my hair dryer and stuff like that. So that's probably I'm going to stack my things like that in there. But um, I just want one place that I can keep all my, like my hair things that they're not sort of kind of all over the place. So also, in terms of trying to um, get organised as well, I saw these. And these were your velvet non-slip over-the-door hooks. Now, I really do love these. And these came in at £2 for four. And they're velvet. 
So you just put them over your doors. Um, they don't damage your doors in any way. And that way you can have somewhere to hang your bags or hang your coats or your scarves. You know, one thing I need somewhere to hang my hats because I am really getting into wearing my little woolly hats now because it's, it's cold. So, um, yeah, sometimes, I'm, what, where's my hat? Where's my hat? So I love these. I can just hang anything on it very quickly. Um, and that way it's a good little storage, um, a little good storage idea to hang things up. So that's those. They also have them in grey as well, if you like the grey colour, guys. So, yeah, there's that. I also picked up some vacuum storage bags. Now, these are the large ones, and they're $2.99. And um, it says space-saving, easy-to-use, reusable. And that's your before and after picture. If I show you on there of how you would actually put your things in there, then by the time you sort of vacuum it, then they would come down to little nothing. Now, I want these guys for my quilts. I need to be putting quilts, blankets, things in there um, that I've got too much of, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Like my Christmas ones, like especially my Christmas blankets. I love them. I don't want them to spoil. I want to keep them for year after year because I really like the way the tartan blankets are. Um, so I really want to protect them. And I thought, what a better way to do it than, um, you know, doing it with a storage bag. So those were $2.99. And that was um, 89 by 119 centimetres. So, um, yeah, there's that. The other thing that I also picked up is the Jumbo Shoppers. Now, believe it or not, guys, these are great for storage. Really, really good for storage. You, they're, quite, they're like strong bags, and they're quite big, and they've got the zip on the top, and they've also got the cloth handles. So they're really sturdy. They're a Jumbo Shopper, so you can use them. I mean, what I also like about these, I keep these in my car. So say for when I, for example, I go shopping and I'm wheeling something to the boot, I'll pack everything into this or carry this with me. This is really versatile. You can use it for in-house storage or you can use it for storage in the back of the car, whichever way you want it, guys. But these are your Jumbo storage bags. And this is 149 for this one. And I love the pink um, flowery kind of pattern on there. So that's your storage jumbo bag. Right, so the last um, storage item that I've got here that I picked up was this, um, I think it's a 45, yeah, 45 litre storage box. And this was about, now, I'm trying to remember the rough price, guys. It's about 3 99 So it's about four quid, call it about four pound for this large, see-through, 45 litre storage box. So if I bring it like that, yeah. And it's got the lid on top. So you've got the lid that snaps shut on the sides. And these are great. You know, I bought quite a few of these. <laughs> oh my God. I, got, I bought quite a few of these guys um, because I wanted them mainly for putting away all my baubles, putting away um, all my Christmas decor, making sure that they were put away. Because this year I did buy, well, not this year, but last year, last Christmas, I bought um, extra items. I needed extra storage. So... I made sure I purchased some of these. The fact that you can actually see through them, which is what I really like, because then you can tell what it is that you're storing. Even though I do label my items, but I do like to kind of see through the box and see what it is and not just see a sort of a, a big box that I don't know what's in there. Because by the time you walk away, six months, you feel, what the heck's in that box then? If you can see through it, guys, then you can have a look. But um, one thing I'll show you that may, I'm sure you all got yours already, and this is not from b and this is just something that I had... Um, but I didn't open it because I thought I wanted to show it to you in my storage. And that's uh, storage bags for your Christmas tree bag. Now, this is actually from Aldi. And um, this one came in at $6.99. And this is for storage of up to a seven foot tree. So if you, any of you have still got your trees up or you're not, sh you know, you haven't got your storage items, I will recommend these. These are very sturdy and strong. And the reason why I went with these, because last year I did buy some other ones. Um, they were really kind of, you know, budget style kind of price. And I was happy with the price at the time. But what's the point of buying it? And then as you, as you zip it up, the tree pokes through. So it was just no point, guys. So I had to go again and repurchase. But these, I spent a little bit more money on these ones. And these are actually really strong woven material. So this one is... Um, Six ninety nine for it, and it's a seven foot tree. And also, they've got a larger one, which is a um, I think up to nine foot, and that one is about eight ninety nine. But check out Aldi online and see if they've got any of these. If you want to pick some up, 
so um that's my storage items so guys i am getting ready and getting ready to declutter put things together and try to <laughs> to get get some order going get some order going because you don't want to go into the year with everything chaotic get some order going get decluttered store your items put them all away until the next time you want to use them so guys i'm gonna love you and leave you hope you got some inspiration and ideas from my b m storage um declutter to storage you know what i mean guys <laughs> hope you got some ideas for it and um don't forget to click and subscribe and guys put your notifications on so every time i release a video you'll be the first to know so i will see you next time guys see you in my very next video take care of yourselves take care of each other see you soon bye